Welcome back to my channel guys. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make this quick and easy crispy hake recipe. If you are new here, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss a single recipe from me. All the measurements will be in the description box below. So I'm using some thinly cut hake. It's already been deboned and I just allowed it to defrost and you can see that it has quite a lot of, of water content in it. So we're just going to take our paper towel and then we're just going to um, reduce the amount of water that is in our fish so we're going to do that on all of them and this will just help to make sure that the coating when we do add the coating it sticks on a little bit better and then our fish can be nice and crispy okay so we're done doing that the next step now will be for us to add some seasoning so I'm just going to start off with seasoning it with a little bit of salt Then I'm going to rub it in on each and every one of those. And the salt will just make sure that your fish is well seasoned, especially if you're not going to be using a lot of spices like me. So next I'm going to be using the Portuguese chicken spice to season my fish. You can use um, any fish spice that you like. I also recommend Seven Grills Color Spice. You can get that now on Take A Lot, thank God. So you can use whichever spice you like. I just wanted to have uh, the Portuguese chicken spice flavor on mine. And then next I'm going to be adding some ground um, black pepper. And then I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of turmeric just to give it the nice vibrant yellow color. Then we're just going to rub it in on all the um, fillets just to make sure that the flavors are evenly distributed. So once we're done, we're just going to set that aside, let it rest a bit, and then we're going to go ahead and prepare our coating. So the coating that I'm making, um, I'm using cake flour, but if you do have self-raising flour, you can go ahead and use that. You just don't have to add the baking powder if you're using self-raising flour, okay? So I will have all these measurements and the details in the description box below. So I've just added some baking powder, and then I'm going to give that a quick mix just to evenly distribute the baking powder with the cake flour. Okay, and then next I'm just going to add a little bit of seasoning onto this batter and I'm going to be using some crushed garlic. You are welcome to omit this if you don't really like it, but you can barely pick it up in the um, coating. So I strongly recommend that you do add this and we're just going to give that a mix just to distribute everything evenly. And then the last seasoning that we're going to add is a little bit of salt. So you don't have to add much salt because we've already seasoned our fish. Okay, so we're just going to give that a mix. So the um, main ingredient that is going to make sure that our batter is nice and crispy is actually sparkling water. So I'm just going to add the sparkling water. You don't have to be brand loyal. You can use whichever brand you like. Um, after you've added the sparkling water, you can just give that a quick mix. Okay, and this is the consistency that we want. You can definitely go thicker if you want your batter to be of a thicker, um, what's this, a, thick, a thicker thickness. Um, but I didn't think it was necessary for mine, so I didn't make mine really thick. So you just dip it into your batter, you dip your hake fillets into your batter, and then have your oil nice, ready, and warm, and then you can just lay your fish in there. So you need to be careful with your fish. It's a bit of a shallow fry that I'm doing here. I didn't see the necessity for me to deep fat fry it. I am shallow frying it. So you don't want to move your fish too early allow it to cook the bottom specifically allow it to crisp up before you start moving it you will see that it is ready to be moved when it starts moving around in the pot on its own so you don't have to be fiddling with it all the time so you see that one is ready but the other one which i just put in the second one is not yet ready so i'm not fiddling with it you can see how it's bouncing inside the oil so that just shows you that it is now ready to be flipped over should you wish to flip it over so we're going to allow that to fry for about three to five minutes depending on how brown you prefer your fish to be you obviously also don't want to burn your fish okay so you can turn it over on both sides and then once it's fully cooked through fish cooks really really quickly so you don't have to have it in there for minutes and minutes on the end you can then just drain out the oil and then it's ready to serve I would recommend you cook your fish just before you're about to serve it. It's a quick recipe. Prepare everything, season it, prepare the coating, and then do the frying just before you serve it for the people that you are cooking for. So I've just repeated this whole entire process with all.
so I'm just going to allow that to cook through and once it's done I do place my fish on a rack and then the reason for the rack is I just I want to allow it to also drain whatever extra oils it might still have on it I strongly recommend that you do that you could also pat your fish you will notice that it's quite really hard and crispy so it's not going to just fall apart that easily and this is what the fish is looking like it was really good it was really nice it's also good for leftovers thank you guys so much for watching this video if you are new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss a single or recipe from me let's continue the conversation in the comment section and i'll see you guys next time bye